Hey guys, today I'm making a tiny little sewing machine for your dolls. If you like this craft, please subscribe, and if you make it, tag me on Instagram, and I'll totally come check it out. And finally, kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'm actually making this sewing machine out of cardstock. You can access the printable by clicking on the link in the description section below. And it's basically four boxes glued together. So this is the first box. I score on all of my lines, just using a mechanical pencil, no lead. And I wanna make sure and score it really well. So I press pretty hard so that it's easier to fold. And I'm folding on all of my lines. And I tried to make the printable as clear as possible by putting a T for the tabs. I hope that's um, easy to follow. Then I glue in my tabs. So first these two here in the front and I use tweezers to help me. And you wanna make sure and really line them up well. So do take your time. The middle tabs. Then fold over and glue the top three pieces. And for the next piece, again, just scoring on each line, folding over and then gluing all of my tabs. So again, just the front two. Two middle tabs. And the top three flaps. Then I glue these two together. And you want to apply a lot of pressure to make sure they attach really well. Maybe hold it for 20 or 30 seconds. And this is the easiest section. It's just a long strip. I score the lines and I create a box, gluing these two tabs. trim as needed in case it doesn't line up perfectly. And finally for the bottom piece, this last box, I'm scoring, folding, and assembling like so. So again, just gluing the front tabs, the middle, and the top three flaps. Then I assemble my boxes. So the square goes on top of the larger box and you'll want to apply some pressure to make sure they attach really well. And the other two boxes on top of the square. And when dry, I paint with glossy acrylic paint. And you'll probably need two coats. And for the needle, I'm just using a toothpick and I kind of file it down just to make it a little bit more narrow. I paint the tip silver, just using nail polish, but of course you can use paint. And I glue it to the underside and I forgot to show you that step. And then I just use uh, mirror paper for the piece along the bottom, thick white craft foam for my back nozzle, and thin white craft foam for my other buttons. I cut one in half and glue it as like a knob to the other one. And then on the other one, I just make little marks. Next, I'm taking a Q-tip. I cut off a section to fit inside of a small perler bead. File as needed and glue to the top. Then I take some thread, glue it to my perler bead, and wrap it around. gluing it in place at the end. I pop on my thicker piece of craft foam along the back. Then add my other details. And for a little bit more detail, I'm just adding a sticker. Pop on my thread and you are so totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys!